my first one million ever handled in my entire life. I can't remember the year, about 20 something. I want you to listen to Apostle Jesus, Apostle John Jesus. Sorry. I want you to listen to Apostle John Solomon on how he and how he received his and how he received his first one millionaire and. Uh, I want you to just listen to it and share your own idea. What you you think that manifests or and that manifests or call within that period? I call with that within that period. My first one million ever handled in my entire life. I can't remember the year, about twenty something or thirty years ago. So how did I handle the million? One day. I follow somebody somewhere. They were giving somebody land. They now call me, say, ah, Apostle, let's just give you something. You take this small land from here to here. It's your own. As well as the dimension. He said, ah, can't you see? From here to here. It had no verbal dimension. It can't be measured. Now leg. From here to here. I said, ah, what is the dimension? Put something. Put bacon. Is from here. I said, this for WBC, you defeat jump measure. So it's too small now. He said, Did you pay? I said, sorry. He said, Your land is from here to here. Ah. <laughs> so then when they asked me if I have land, I said I don't have. He said, You have you have. I said that one land. They said, What's the measurement? I said, I don't know, but I know if you get there, it's from here to here. <laughs> That's my land. So they measured it. If I even forgot about it, somebody was building a wealthy person, and he was building from the other side. His land stopped where I put my bacon. He needed to extend it to where the second bacon was. And he said, "Who owns this useless land?" <laughs> he said, "Because I want to take it." And they told him, "It's one pastor." He sent for me. I sat down. I crossed my leg as if I own something good. He said. Why are, you, why are you looking so important? I said, I'm important. He said, okay, that land, uh, let me just give you 100,000. I said, no. He said, how much? I said, six million. <laughs> he said, are you all right? I said, I'm leaving because too many companies are calling me for that land. Too many people are disturbing me. He said, really? I said, yes, somebody's coming to put a company. And he had an investment, and I know he will not hear that one. Somebody's come to put a company there, so I'm I'm going to sell it for him. So he's actually giving six point five, and he's paying cash tomorrow. He said, "Wait, a company near my investment?" I said, "See your, see your investment, it's my land." So he's actually, thank you very much. He said, "Wait, wait, what about two million? I said, "You are not ready." I said, "That land is hot cake, hot cake, bakery, different things they want to do in that land." Now you go sell your market. Oh. hold on. Wait, wait, let me show you something. After Joseph interpreted the dream for pharaoh guess what pharaoh said who do we put here pharaoh said now god has done his part let me now sell my market you need a man that is honest a man that is contrite a man that understands the wisdom of the gods he was giving his own cv and then pharaoh said can we find such a one except you he said carry him god, god will give you opportunity after divinity has shown up it's now left for you to express your humanity That land is dimensionless. No dimension. Am I talking to somebody here? I sold it five million. They brought the money in back, and I crossed my life. Let me count it. Eh? He said, "I don't have time." I just I'll return your money. Oh. Because these people, they are both calling me now. They are both calling me. He said, but because you are a good man and don't maintain relationship and everything, I will just sell it for you. He gave me money. I was living there. And the voice said, don't look back, don't look back, don't look back. 
I was drawing the Ghana must come. Ghana must come. Don't look back. Don't look back. Don't. When I finish, I told the man, I said, I sold for five million. The man who gave me said, stop lying. I said, I sold for five million. He put his hand on his head. He said, the whole entire land that I give to that man, we sold it for 1.8. Mm. You, you sold the whole small this thing. I said, I don't sell them. I don't sell them. Oh. <laughs> Not me, you give. When God wants to bless you, stop trying to figure him out stop trying to mentally reason it out god knows how to open doors god knows how to bless you god knows how to surprise you i make a decree upon your life everyone connected to you that has been standing idle and not doing anything that has been standing idle and not helping your life my god shall compel them Jehovah shall compel them. Elohim shall compel them. God shall compel them. God shall compel them. You are about to become the bridge, the link of your family. The bridge, the link. I don't believe that you have gone through everything he said and how he explained it. I come to realize. That there are ways that God used to bless people that is different from our understanding. Sometimes we can't understand it. Imagine the the little plot of land that he said that they give to him. And the, this this piece he's giving is just like a, what we talk about, maybe 10 to 20 feet. But that that little space that maybe he would have entered, maybe just small store or what or a place for road was given to him but at the end of the day that land become the land that turn everything around for him turn everything around so there are times that god will pick us something and give it to you it might be it might be little bit because it is god that bring it by the time that you will use those things he bring what you don't imagine so what am i trying to say you have to believe god and you have to work with the opportunity that god has created and has given to you and as you do that you will see that life will always work, become more better and we hear the testimony. Imagine the little space torn out. But the way he describing is that if not that the, the land is in a, in a good position, we are it can give we are give life or give add something to the buyer. Uh, that land would have not give anything. Maybe it will be maybe hundred thousand naira. The way he described, but because of the position that God positioned that gift. So there are times we despise some gifts, we despise some things that God has given to us. And the Bible says to all that we should not despise the little beginning. And uh, we discover, even though he, according to him, we even despise it, he did not value it. But you discover at the end of the day, that land, give him what he did not believe. So what am I trying to say? Trust in the Lord. Whatever the Lord has put in your hand, he has purpose for it. And at the end, you will see the reason to celebrate if you believe in him and walk with him. God bless you.